Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure PostgreSQL on Linux Mint 21. Open browser, then go to PostgreSQL. This is the official website for PostgreSQL. Click on download, select Linux, click on Ubuntu, then copy line by line. Then copy second line that is importing the signing key. Then update the packages sudo apt get update. If you haven't recently updated the packages, it may take time. Now install the PostgreSQL. See, we can install PostgreSQL server by running this command. What this will do? This will install the latest PostgreSQL server available for Linux Mint. So sudo apt get install Postgre, PostgreSQL. If you want to install 14, you have to give hyphen 14. If you want to install 12, you have to give 12. Otherwise, if you don't give any version number, it will install the available PostgreSQL release for this Linux Mint. Hit enter. See, it is going to install PostgreSQL 14. So, I am cancelling this one. Run the same command. Then, then PostgreSQL hyphen client. Then, PostgreSQL hyphen country. Hit enter. See, it is required this much space. Type I and hit enter. See, we have successfully installed PostgreSQL. Let's verify. Control L to clear the screen, sudo ctl status postgre sql, postgre sql service is started and also here the service is enabled. Like in other distributions, we have to manually enable the postgre sql service after installation, but in Linux Mint, no need to start and enable the PostgreSQL service. Press Q to quit and now connect to PostgreSQL server. sudo su hyphen PostgreS. PostgreS is the username. PSQL. PSQL is the utility to connect to the PostgreSQL server. See, we have successfully connected to PostgreSQL server. Let's verify the version of the PostgreSQL server that we have installed. Select version and hit enter. See, we have installed PostgreSQL 14.9. The first step after installation of PostgreSQL server on Linux Mint 21 is how to set the password for the super user that is Postgres. So, command is alter user Postgres with password. Then, in singular double quotes, give the password. Hit enter. We have set the password. Now verify list of the users comes with the PostgreSQL server slash du. See, there is only one user that is Postgres, which is super user for this PostgreSQL server. Q to quit. Now verify list of the databases. Forward slash and L. See, by default, these three databases comes with PostgreSQL server. Let's create a database create then database name verify slash l that is forward slash l you can also verify list of the databases by running select statement against pg underscore database view select that name from pg underscore database 
we got the database names in the same way suppose if you want to create tables in this auto schools database we have to give slash c and database name what this command is going to do this is going to switch the current database that is postgres to auto schools now we are in auto schools control l to clear screen now we are going to create table in this database Has successfully created a table. Let's verify the list of the tables. See, we have created a table in this Auto Schools database. Now insert records into this table. Insert into is the command. Then we have to provide the table name. Here table name students. Then values. Enter type. Then where card. We can give David. Where card. must be in singular double quotes we have successfully inserted let's verify the data in this students table students see there is one record okay in the same way if we want to create a user we have to use the command create user r2 admin with password admin at the rate one to now verify the list of the users see we have two users one postgres and r2 admin press q to quit now if we want to restrict user to not to login just you have to give alter user username r2 admin no login no see if we give this command user cannot login now verify the list of the users see user cannot login control l to clear screen now verify postgres sql server configuration file location by running the command show config_file see this file contains postgres sql server configuration details i will show you the information stored in this file if you want to see the host based authentication file that is hba file by running the command show hba file see this is the hba file with the location If you want to find the log directory of PostgreSQL Server, give so log underscore directory. See, this is the log directory of PostgreSQL Server. If you want to find the data directory of PostgreSQL Server on Linux Mint, use so data underscore directory. See, this is the data directory. Copy this file. These are important locations as a database administrator. Now exit from this PSQL shell. Give slash q and hit enter. Now we exited from the PSQL utility. Cd then paste the path we have copied. Ls hyphen ltr. See here it contains these configuration files. If you want to see more information about this configuration file, give more PostgreSQL. dot com c it contains all the parameters related to postgres sql server c some parameters required reboot let me show you c suppose suppose if you enable max logs per transaction then this requires restart for each parameter if you require restart here in brackets you can get it okay control l to clear screen suppose if you want to restart postgres sql server on linux mint then use the command sudo systemctl restart postgresql can be done by using sudo user or administrator or root user control l exit from this postgres user now run the same command sudo systemctl restart postgresql let's verify status of the postgresql server just replace restart with status see we have restarted 7 seconds ago control l q to quit now stop the postgres sql service sudo system ctl stop postgres sql it is stopped let's verify see it is inactive okay 
to quit control l now try to connect to postgres server sudo su postgres now view the psql shell to connect to postgres sql server see it is saying is the server is running ping the connections on local socket because it is stopped so that's why we got this error okay so exit exit start the postgres sql server we have started the postgres sql server now try to connect to postgres sql server again see we are able to connect to postgres sql so in this video we have seen how to install and configure postgres sql server on linux mint 21 for more postgres sql server on linux mint videos please subscribe my channel thank you